I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about red flags in your fertility doctor that should make you run. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist helping people build their families for over 15 years. And today I want you to learn about some warning signs or some red flags that if you find them in your fertility doctor, you should consider a second opinion. So I get questions about this all the time on Instagram, on here on YouTube, on TikTok. You know, my doctor did this. Is this okay? Um, I'm scared to talk to my doctor about this. What should I do? You know, we want to have a collaborative and wonderful relationship with our doctor. And it's so important, especially with something like fertility that is so vulnerable. It's so humbling. It's so frustrating that you really do want to find that right person for you. I have another video here on YouTube that has some really helpful tips on how to find that right fertility doctor. This video is all about red flags that if you see them, listen to your gut and consider finding someone else for you. So number one, if your doctor is distracted and not really paying attention to you, that's a red flag. So if they forget your name, if you've seen them multiple times, even in the same IVF cycle and, and they can't remember your name and they can't remember your story or anything about you, um, that's a red flag, you know, distracted kind of, um, obviously maybe checking their watch or checking their phone when they're talking to you or something. If they're just not paying attention to you, they're distracted. They're not, making you the most important thing in the room at that time, red flag. Number two, doesn't listen to you, doesn't really answer your questions, kind of dismisses questions. You know, I have seen um, attendings, like as you're learning, um, I've been doing this for a long time. So especially when um, medical information started coming out on the internet and on Dr. Google, um, a lot of old school attendings would just be so angry that their patients were looking something up, like taking it really personal that, oh my gosh, they don't just trust me and all this education. They're going to Google and trusting someone that they read on a website. Now, you know, we kind of do that a lot, right? There's a lot of self-diagnosis and I think of it as, you know, advocacy for care and a way to answer and ask questions. I'm not threatened by the fact that patients are taking time to educate themselves. Um, I sort of say, hey, listen, I want to be a filter though. Like I, I don't want to dismiss someone for bringing something up, but like, you know, you can't really trust everything that you read on the internet. So um, there's a difference between like dismissing someone and sort of belittling them for having questions versus um, just addressing concerns. Number three, the doctor puts down other doctors or other clinics. That's a red flag. So um, I do second opinions all the time, right? Like the, it's really common in lots of parts of medicine. Um, and sometimes I see things in medical charts where I'm like, wow, I really wouldn't have done that. Or, you know, it's, I wouldn't even diagnose this patient with blank, you'd be blank, blank, whatever. But I never say like, oh God, what a stupid doctor. I can't believe you went to that other clinic before you came here because, you know, I am so amazing. I say, you know, different doctors look at different things. Medicine is an art. Um, fertility especially is an art. This is how I would have made this diagnosis or this is why I don't think that you probably have this condition. Um, and like, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what, you know, how we make this decision and make these diagnoses. Not, um, so I can, I can disagree or um, challenge or have a discussion about what other doctors have done without putting the other doctor down or the other clinic down. So um, that's a red flag if your doctor does that. Number four, dismisses you, dismisses your question, belittles you, shames you for thinking outside the box huge red flag. It should be collaboration. It should be answering questions. It should be education. You're looking for a partner in your care, not just to be told what to do. Number five, if you are hiding things from your doctor, that's a huge red flag. So if you have decided to start doing acupuncture, but you don't want to tell your doctor because you don't want them to shame you, or you know that they don't think it's going to be a good idea, that's not good. If you start taking a supplement, but you're, you know, that you read about on the internet, but you don't want to tell your doctor because they said they don't believe in supplements, like just a blanket question, that's not okay. Like you should be able to have an open conversation 
with your doctor and explain what you're doing and not feel ashamed. You shouldn't hide things from your doctor because you're worried about how they're gonna react to it. You should find a partner in your care. Let's recap. So what are five things that are red flags in your fertility doctor and quite honestly, any doctor? Number one, the doctor is distracted. Forget your name, uh, can't remember why you're there, um, just is not paying attention to what is going on in the consult. Number two, your doctor doesn't listen to you, interrupts you when you're trying to talk, doesn't, doesn't listen when you're trying to clarify what the next steps are. Number three, the doctor puts down other doctors or other clinics. Number four, the doctor dismisses your concerns or your questions and doesn't have an engaged conversation with you. Number five, if you are finding that you are hiding things from your doctor because you're worried about how they're gonna react, I hope you found this video helpful. Go to my other video on constructive ways to find the right fertility doctor. But I think this video is important too, to look for those red flags. Like this video if you learned something, comment with questions that you have, subscribe to this channel and stick around for more learning.